Hey, today I want to show you how to write really quick, effective Google Doc sales letters. So if you haven't heard about Google Doc sales letters, this is great if you have an online business as a coach selling courses or services and you don't want to get tied up in all of the tech and spending hours trying to make click funnels or your website look pretty. You want something to be released super fast so you can either test and reiterate really quickly and you want it to convert and to make sales and to not look super cheap and super rushed. Google Doc sales letters do all of that. So instead of feeling like you're stuck in that swamp of I have an idea, I don't know if it's good, I gotta test it, I gotta go through all these different steps to launch a product, you instead can move really fast in an afternoon, write a high converting, really compelling converter tool in the Google Doc sales letter, and you don't need to involve a lot of tech. You don't need to pay hundreds of dollars a month for web development or funnel software or deal with uh, people from around the world who may not make your website as perfect as quickly as you like. So let's jump into it. There's five key steps to making a really good high converting Google Doc sales letter. And these are great. These are something that uh, over the past three to four years we've used to make over $12,000, no, not $12,000, $12 million for my clients uh, selling on social media, through email. Um, it's just a very accessible way to send someone your whole sales presentation to skip a phone call and uh, drive traffic to your offer, to your payment links. So without further ado, here are the five things and they're all equally important. The first is going to be your hook, your big idea because what I've seen, I'll show you a few examples of these in a moment after we go through these principles, but what I've seen is the sweet spot tends to be under five pages for these sales letters, just because people don't have the attention span to read. And if you stay to the end, I'll actually share a trick with you to share longer, more comprehensive sales presentations um, that we've seen really, really work. Uh, but first, you need a big idea, you need a hook, something that shows up differently. Because really, if you looked around your marketplace at your competition or your peers or wherever you're selling, people seem to be selling the same things, right? Course creators sell courses. Agencies sell you know, media buying, they sell ads. What you wanna do is come up with a hook or an idea that sets you apart from being a commodity and makes it seem special. For, and we'll break that down in a few of these examples down below uh, in a few moments. The second thing you want is proof. Today, people are just more skeptical than ever. And you need big claims and big promises because otherwise, what are you selling to people? You need to have some sort of outcome that they're gonna get, yet you don't want to say your promise without any sort of context. So the way to get around this is you're gonna have some sort of proof whether you've achieved it yourself, whether your clients have achieved it, or if you're just starting out, you can use uh, someone famous in the marketplace to be your proof element. A really good example of that is we were selling how to start a social media marketing agency online using private labeled services. And when we started, we didn't have a big list of client testimonials, but we had uh, Kevin Hart, who sells supplements. We had uh, 50 Cent, who sells vitamin water. You know, K what is it, KSI, PSI? KSI and uh, Lo I think Logan Paul sell the, that energy drink, right? They all sell things that they don't make themselves. So we use them as a proof element, and that's one thing that you really, really need in the sales letter because it's gonna overcome that skepticism while implying the result that you can get for people and make it more likely in their head that they can get that result too. The third piece, as I check my notes, is uh, logic. So you wanna have, and what I've seen best, is you go over the case study you uh, or the proof whichever one you use, uh, you have your big idea, and people are gonna be very curious as to what's gonna be involved. 
Because once someone is interesting and they say, hey, I want that outcome, I think it makes sense, but what's involved? Because they're looking for reasons that it won't work for them. Because understand, they have two fighting wolves in their head. They have the really ambitious one that says, all right, let's do it. Let's lose the weight. Let's make the money. Let's have our dream relationship. Let's get this outcome. I'm you know, hungry, ambitious, whatever. And you have this other one, this other voice, this other wolf, whatever you want to call it, in their head that's like, yeah, we've never done this before. And there's a reason for that because you know, rich people suck, skinny people suck. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Everyone sucks when it comes to dating. This is the voice that feeds your ego and keeps you safe from failure. This is the voice that wants you to get things. And they can't exist at the same time. So as they're going through the sales letter, the next thing on top of mind is going to be, hey, you know, is this going to take a lot of time? I'm a busy person. You know, have I tried this before? Does this sound fun? Does it sound appealing? So we're going to go into the logistics next. And then... We're gonna go number five. We wanna add some personality to it, a little bit of voice. The best Google Doc sales letters I've seen have that DNA print of the expert in there. So now let's go over a few examples. All right. Cool, remember the five pieces of a converting Google Doc sales letter are gonna be your hook, your proof, your promise, your logistics, and your um, and your personality. So here's an example that frankly didn't convert very well. So this is basically a classic sales page written and formatted in a Google Doc. And it was very long, which may be why it didn't work, 52 pages. Um, and a big piece, again, of the Google Docs is to keep them short. So I just wanted to show you this, that uh, you don't have to be an amazing copywriter. This was uh, put together by me uh, and our team and part of it is just that uh, you know having really good copy isn't the most important thing to getting you conversions it's really about the context that you're presenting the copy in so let's look at a few examples that worked and break it down so first fast forward is a really strong hook and this is this is from the nothing held back community uh, their fast forward program and so they have the hook, fast forward, really good, uh, because selling people marketing is really just collapsing time and getting them to the result even faster. Instantly understandable, really strong, big idea. Now where is their proof and their promise? So their promise is, I'm gonna teach you everything I know about advertising, marketing, sales, and so on like that, right? And then there's a little bit of logistics right here of who it's for and then the outcome. And so this is where they put the proof and a little bit more of the implied promises. So the project for Caitlyn Jenner, working with Mike Tyson, have Forbes.com as a consulting client. So they have a lot of this credibility and authority. Um, you know, they charge a lot of money they get paid for you know all of these things and the reason why that he can do this is because he has these special things the special secrets that he's going to teach you over the next 12 months so that's the promise that's the proof uh now in terms of the logistics this is right up here and this is interesting because um it changes the format of the letter because Again, the context is most important. So this isn't necessarily for selling people uh, who don't know or who are brand new. This is more for selling warm traffic and that's what Google sales letters seem to be the best for. Selling people who know you like you trust you through social media, through email. Um, but if you ran Facebook ads to this, it will likely not work as well. Uh, with that, you want a little bit more professional branding, a little bit better design um, to help you go through that. Uh, but yeah, the format is the logistics. So it's a very simple premise of I'm just going to teach you everything I know about all of this stuff. And then here's how I'm going to teach you. And so because of this huge stack of how the format works, you can see and have a lot of faith 
that he can teach you in this format. So you have individual attention, you have four hours of calls each week. Um, you know, here's what the calls are gonna be. We have guest speakers, we have, you know, networking days. We go into tactical advice as well. We have a Discord group. So there's all of these things. And then last, where's the personality? So he does have, this kind of is his personality um, as just a, a copywriter and a, a very, you know, is very straightforward, dry, and that's, that's kind of how he speaks. Um, and he gets very straight to the point. You know, here's the price, here's how to sign up. And you could kind of feel that through the whole sales letter that he's just a very, you know, here's what I have, this is why it's good, here's what we're doing. And you can feel that straightforwardness coming from the letter. And so if you like that, that's great. You're gonna be more likely to buy. If you don't, then you'll see a really different example in the next um, letter. So let's go right into that. Boom. Okay, so this is the big idea in the hook where you wake up with new followers, DMs, and emails of people who wanna work with you. Uh, and it's always powerful to phrase things as a question because then it turns it into more of an open loop. So you're not telling people, you're asking them and getting them to think, which is just a little bonus tip here. Um, and then he goes into a little bit of a story. So this is actually the proof element, his first person proof story. So he goes in um, and it's people asking him to work together. It takes him about three hours, and he's you know been teaching people to do this, and there's a little bit of proof. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit more proof here, and so the proof is an example of his promise as well, and it's you know this hook is going to do a lot of things. Part of it implies the promise and gets you to keep reading, and the proof again reinforces that promise. You know he's converting cold traffic into his offer. Um, you know, he posts once a day and he's he's getting a new DM. This person's a digital nomad and wakes up with money sitting inside their Stripe account. So that's how you're able to do it. And he goes for the fourth step with the logistics. He goes and does this with benefit bolts, which are cool. So you can tease out what you're actually going to do in the course and be very specific with it of this, of you know your system, of your secret sauce. So he doesn't give away the whole secret here, but he says, hey, I can turn one email into a dozen pieces of content across all these platforms because his audience wants to post on all these platforms because it feels overwhelming and it's a little bit hectic and maybe they're not the best writers, so that's what they do. Um, you know, There's also different content types and frameworks so that you, again, have a high degree of certainty as you go in here of what you're gonna get and what it's gonna look like. Uh, cheat codes go fast on Twitter, uh, how I get never ending ideas in four minutes a day. So those are all logistics that attack the main objections of someone who would look at this course, be interested, but would not buy. You know, they would be curious on, I'm not a content creator, how do I come up with ideas? Or I'm not a writer, I don't know what it would look like to write. Or it sounds like a lot of work. Oh, you could just turn one email into a dozen pieces of content. Um, and then in terms of personality, it is like a personal sales letter. He, he uses interesting language uh, and adding pictures of yourself is a really good way of building up that personality, that mere exposure. And even his choice of using a first person story as a proof element is really powerful. So now here's how to put your Google Doc letter. Here's how to put your Google Doc sales letter together piece by piece by piece. First, start with your proof. What's the best proof element that you have, the results that no one can argue with, or again, if you don't have proof, if you haven't done it, if your clients haven't done it, but you're selling something that works, how do you know it works? What's the proof element? How can you prove it and clearly demonstrate it? Once you have that, that helps you so much to figure out the promise. Because now, your promise is just Help, here's how to achieve the same thing I just proved. Then you go into your hook, your big idea. How can you make it sexier? How is it different? How can you turn this ordinary idea that you have into something that arrests attention and stops people's thumbs on social media? What you're gonna do after that 
is what are the logistics? You don't want to give away the whole secret, but you do want to let people know enough that they feel confident they can get results as well. And then finally, how can you add a little bit, a little bit of your personality? Now, you don't want to get too cute, confuse people or bore them by talking about yourself way too much. You want to keep it fun, make sure you're likable, and share a little bit of yourself. So, really quick example how this works. For a sales letter I did recently, I launched my seven day Clients from Social Bootcamp. And what I showed is how over the past two years, I was running an agency, uh, getting sales for people like Jason Capital and a whole bunch of other uh, large influencers just from Instagram. And so that was my proof element. And then my promise was that we can get you clients from social media as well using a scaled down version of the system. Because really, you know, people like Jay Shetty, Les Brown, Jordan Belfort, even Jason Capital have their content dialed in, they have big teams behind them. It's a little bit different for them, but really if you're a coach or consultant online, you could follow this clients from social bootcamp system and get the same results. So that was my promise. And then what I did is the whole big idea was clients from social. And really what it boiled down to is you're not a copywriter, so what if you can have a copywriter work for you and show you all of the cheat codes to writing really great short form content that gets clients to come to you, how to convert them, how to talk to them, how to get them, and do that all within seven days. So that was a big idea. And then I added the logistics, which is kind of what I just told you then. What we do is we have our content trident so that we're able to get people, reach out to people, engage them, and get them to message you to want to work with you. We also uh, write a very simple, specific Google Doc sales letter to send in the chats. We have a fit script that you can talk with people as well. So you know exactly how to get them in, uh, engage them and get them to buy. And that's the whole system. And then it has my personality within it. I add pictures of myself. I talk a little bit about um, how I was working on the system, adding a little bit of the story, a little bit of that seasoning in there. And it's that's an example of how to write your own Google Docs sales letter. So let me know in the comments if you've ever tried writing a Google Docs sales letter. And as a bonus tip, if you're good on camera, what you can do is you can write your Google Docs sales letter and record a loom just like I am right now. It's free software. Um, or it can be free, there's a paid version too, you could use Loom to uh, record the video of you reading and going over the page, which if you read it and record it as a video, it's a lot less effort for your audience to consume it, and so we tend to see higher conversions with that. That's what I got for today, and if you're curious, check out the link in bio because I filmed this video for my private newsletter as well. Each week I launch what's called the client bait report teaching you really specific tactics that you could implement within the next seven days to get more clients to get more revenue to get more profits for your business so if you're interested in that you could check out the link in the bio or down in the description i don't know why i said link in bio this is not instagram but that's what i got for today peace